What's going on, guys? It's Steve. So most people think Russell Westbrook is going to win the 2016-2017 NBA MVP. Now, I've been saying the entire season that he probably won't finish averaging a triple-double. He's proving me wrong because, obviously, the season's almost over and he's still averaging a triple-double. However, what's crazy to me is that people think that he's in contention for the MVP just because of the triple-double. Now, don't get me wrong. A triple-double is ridiculous. It's out of this world. Only one other person has done it. Russell Westbrook has over 60 triple-doubles for his career already, which is absurd, uh, judging by the fact he's only played like six, seven, eight seasons, um, total seasons. And this guy is just amazing, okay? I, I understand that. However, he's not going to win MVP. He's just simply not. Um... The Oklahoma City Thunder, they're going to be a 7th seed in the Western Conference. No way in hell is a 7th seed team going to have a player that wins MVP. If LeBron didn't win MVP in the 2016 NBA Finals, um, well, 2015, excuse me, 2015 NBA Finals when he clearly deserved it because the only other player to do it was Jerry West um, to win MVP on a losing team in the Finals, Russell Westbrook isn't going to do it in the regular season, okay? And... I understand he's doing something ridiculous, but even if you look at basketball reference, who's gotten the last five MVPs correct in terms of their probability to win, there's just no, there's simply no chance uh, Russell Westbrook stands. And to be honest, Russell Westbrook's not even top three in MVP voting right now. Top three are James Harden, Kevin Durant, and then LeBron James. Now, according to basketball reference, James Harden has the best chance, which I agree with. James Harden will probably win MVP just for having the Rockets as a top seed in the Western Conference right now, which is ridiculous doing what he's doing. Now, he has a 40% chance. Kevin Durant has a 20% chance. That's obviously out of the window. He's not going to win MVP after the injury. LeBron James has a 13% chance. Now, James Harden is averaging 29 points per game, 8 rebounds, 11 assists, 1.5 steals per game, um, 85% from the free throw line, 35% from three, and 44% from the field. So in terms of efficiency, he's not the best. He's not up there with Katie and LeBron, where Katie and LeBron are shooting 54% from the field and 30. LeBron is shooting 40% from three. That's ridiculous, okay? And Kevin Durant is shooting 38% from three. Um, you know, it, it, in terms of efficiency, they're not up there with LeBron and KD, Russell Westbrook, or James Harden, okay? But they're still great players, just not as good as LeBron and KD because of their efficiency. But James Harden's just simply going to get the MVP. Um, there's no doubt about it. For them to have a top seed. Now, Russell Westbrook is still, I mean, he's averaging 32 points per game, 11 rebounds, and 10 assists. Uh, to be honest, I still don't think he's going to finish averaging a triple-double. It's just not going to happen. Um, he's so undersized to average one. And the crazy thing is, is that he's averaging more rebounds than assists for a point guard. That's crazy. He's averaging 10.7 rebounds. And 10.1 assists. You would think it's the other way around. You would think it would be, okay, he's averaging 11 assists and 10 rebounds. No, it's the other way around, which is weird. You know, because you would think an undersized guard at 6'3 wouldn't be able to average that many rebounds. But, I mean, if you look at your Jason Kidds and things like that, it is possible. Okay? But, I mean, god damn, dude. It, that's ridiculous numbers. But, again, he only has an 8% chance of winning. He has the same per, uh, percent chance. Actually, he only has a 1% more chance of winning than Kawhi Leonard does, which is ridiculous because, again, Russell Westbrook's putting up a triple-double. But it's the team, man, you know. You can be a great player on a bad team, you know, that's possible, but you're just not going to win MVP. You're simply not going to win MVP. LeBron didn't win it in 2007, 2008. You know, some people say he deserved it. Some people say Kobe deserved it. LeBron didn't win it then. LeBron didn't win it in 2011. LeBron didn't win it in 2014. LeBron didn't win it in 2015, 2016. You know, and I know he's cruising, but this is the best player in the world, okay? And I understand Russell Westbrook is finally the alpha dog, finally the number one option on his team. He's not behind the greatest scorer that we've seen in the last two decades. He's not behind Kevin Durant anymore. However, it's just his, his probability just... But regarding, disregarding basketball reference, from a logistical standpoint, no one ever wins MVP that is not a top seed, a top two seed in their conference, historically. So in terms of people thinking he can win at a seventh seed, it's not logical whatsoever, okay? And it's not just not logical, it's not possible. 
for him to win MVP. And it doesn't make sense for him to win MVP over James Harden, whereas Russell Westbrook, yeah, he's putting up a triple-double, but James Harden's putting up nearly a triple-double. I mean, he's literally two rebounds off of a triple-double. He's averaging 29, 8, and 11, so he's averaging more assists and only two less rebounds. But James Harden is carrying his team more than Russell Westbrook is carrying his Oklahoma City Thunder. And to be honest, I think they, they have an equal amount of help. I mean, they don't have the best players around them. Uh, Russell Westbrook just has a, a scorer in Victor Oladipo, some defensive players, some shooters and rebounders, and James Harden just has some shooters and rebounders around him and defenders as well. You know, so I think they're equal in terms of that. I, I don't see Russell Westbrook winning MVP over James Harden. James Harden just having too incredible of a season. Um, and yes, that outshines a triple-double because having his team at a top seed in the Western Conference, that's ridiculous, man. With the with, with him losing Dwight Howard, who would have freaking expected that, honestly? With losing one of the best big men of the last decade, who would have expected the Houston Rockets to elevate their game? No one. You know, so James Harden is definitely the MVP. Being man, Steve, I'm out. Peace.